Hey guys, welcome to this very short tutorial video. Since some people seem to be having problems downloading our Minecraft mod packs for when we do our big stream series. So I'm going to explain relatively shortly how you get these. So first you go to google.com. Now you go search up is CurseForge. Download. The first result should be on curseforge.com where it says download CurseForge app. Click into there. You should see download on Overwolf, or you could download standalone, but I've only ever used the Overwolf version. So you click on that, then you wait for it to download, click into here, allow it to change your device. It'll just say thank you. Has been installed successfully. Now you'll see a whole installer thing that I already have it installed on here, so you're not going to see that but it will be installed through an installer. Let's go ahead and click download standalone just in case. Click on here, you should see this. Welcome to CurseForge, you click next. You tell it the installation folder, you accept, then it'll install through there. But I already have it installed, so we're not going to look at it through there. So now, what do you do? Well, you open up CurseForge and you'll usually see it down in your task uh, thing. You'll just click on the anvil that looks like CurseForge. And it'll bring up this. Well, not this specifically. It'll bring up uh, this. And you'll have to choose Minecraft to tell it where your Minecraft is installed. And once you figure that out, then it should bring you to this page, but it's blank. So, in order to get the mods that we use, you have to go into my Discord server, Frozen's Epsilons, and you go into the chat that's called Links should show you a bunch of different mod packs we've used before, like Couch Piece, uh, the Jojo Vane mod pack, uh, and uh, the Dragon Couch one. So pretty much you go to where it says link to download the pack, click on that, and it'll bring you the media fire. Just download it. There's no viruses, I promise. Then now that you have this new zip folder, I'm going to go ahead, place that on my desktop then we're going to go ahead and go back to curseforge and you go on create custom profile now you're going to click where it says import a previously created profile so it'll then bring you mostly to your desktop you just need to find where you put that file sometime it'll most likely be in your downloads if you're doing this normally you click on that and it should instantly install uh, a new version of that mod pack since I already have that mod pack installed, I don't need to do that. But once it's all installed, you then click on it and you can press play. And it should instantly launch up the Minecraft launcher. You just let it load. Because it takes a second to load because the Minecraft launcher is not all that great. You click on play. Now, it will take longer than what's taking for me. But it will uh, at some point then install. It should be installing more Minecraft-like prerequisites. And then from there, it'll actually just start up the Forge stuff. And you don't have to worry about going into your files, going into app data and putting files down. Or using something like Technic that could be a little bit more complicated. So yeah, uh, hopefully I'll be able to point to this in case somebody needs more help getting to these things. What is that? I've never seen that in the Dragon Block mod. Uh, but hopefully uh, this helped explain how you use these mod packs. We're always going to be doing it. Like that, there won't be any changes. You just have to go into the links chat and see if we've added in a new mod pack. So, yeah.